What's up racers, Race Beast here and welcome back to another CSR2 video. Now I am here with the Jaguar XJ220, this is a Legends car. Okay, and um, if you are doing the Legends storyline to get that F1, you will end up having this car in your garage someday or the other, okay? If you are already having this car but haven't built it, you may consider building this one because it's a really good car when it comes to live racing. In my opinion, this is the Jaguar in the game to use for live racing, okay? So with that being said, um, let's have a look at the upgrades for the live racing setup. Um, now I have engine onto stage 5, turbo onto stock, intake onto stage 4, nitrous onto stage 3, body onto stage 6, tires onto stage 3 and transmission onto stage 4. Okay, So this gives me a performance point of 671 and an EVO point of 2128. So this is a super low PP high EVO setup. Um, a very good advantage of having such a setup is you will get placed into lobbies where uh, your opponents are running much slower than you quite often. Okay, so uh, you definitely have an advantage when it comes to, you know, lobby matchmaking. Uh, on top of that, as long as you're controlling your runs, um, you won't get bumped up that easily. So with that being said, uh, let's have a look at the tuning for this setup. Now, as far as the tuning is concerned, uh, like uh, depending on what fusions you have, your tuning might be slightly different compared to mine. So adjust your tuning accordingly. Uh, but this is just to give you a baseline, okay? So nitrous all the way to the right for me, final drive all the way to the left, tire pressure uh, 8 PSI, okay? So this is a very basic tuning, okay? Uh, let's see what dyno we have here. We have a dyno of 9.507, so I am aiming for 9.5 to 9.7 lobbies. Uh, but keep in mind, as I said before, uh, since we have a low PP high EVO setup, you can get placed into slower lobbies where you have an advantage over your opponents, okay? So with that being said, uh, let's do a test run. I will also show you the shift pattern for this particular setup. Um, now, as far as the shift pattern goes, uh, we do have a needle drop in the shift pattern, okay? So what uh, is gonna happen is you are going to aim for a perfect start and as soon as you release, there is going to be a needle drop. So don't worry about the needle drop, uh, let it happen. Uh, and then you will straight away go into uh, second gear, uh, do a good shift, hit nitrous and then rest all will be good shifts again, okay? So I will show you what I mean by doing a run now. Here we go. There is the needle drop. So let's see what we ran now. We ran a 9.459 on a dyno of 9.507 so this car is beating dyno as well so you not only have a low pp high was setup you are also beating dyno so this setup will definitely do great in live i already tested it i already done a few races with it okay so yeah that's it for the setup guys uh now i'm going to show a few live races uh with the jaguar um but i'm going to stop my commentary okay so yeah uh enjoy the live races guys this is racer beast Signing off, see you in another video. Bye.